actually our food talk for today. <laughs> yeah, try to overcook rice. <laughs> that can happen. <laughs> can it? Yes. Of course you can. Oh yeah. That's it I... gets all sticky and stuff. It's ugh. well, there, there's there's like a type of rice that's sticky on purpose like that. that oh yeah, it is. But I don't, I don't like it. I'm more of I don't Basanti like it either. Man. That's disgusting. It's uh, it's terrible. Yeah, I prefer the basmati type or the jasmine one, which is a tad bit harder. Yeah, the ba basmati rice is uh, best. Pretty pog, but it's costly as hell. Oh, it's not that expensive. One. I mean, compared to the it's... normal one, it's like double the price. Yeah, but normal rice, it's so fucking cheap that it's like... Uh, it, it's like it's like if you compare... Like, if you go to the supermarket, you buy some nuts or something. And then you compare the price of a rent of some nuts, like uh, walnuts or uh, uh, pistachio nuts or whatever. And you compare the price to peanuts. <laughs> it's like, well, those are cheap. Oh, yeah. What it's like, I, th I think if you, like, if you want uh, uh, a half kilogram bag of cashew nuts here, it's in the supermarket, it's like five to six bucks. And if you have half a kilogram of peanuts, it's like one and a half to two bucks. Yeah. It's ridiculously cheap, peanuts. That is true. But also, it seems like there is quite a difference between the build orders, because Nexus is going to go for quite yes, easy. Yes, about that. Let's talk about food. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also hungry. Yeah, okay, so uh, the main difference is Pepsi is doing a Hydro Rush, but uh, okay, this is set with Clutch, clutch Faf version, so it is that actually is balanced. Tough. Because in a normal uh, a sentence, the non Faf version, the Hydro placement is quite different, and it actually in 1v1 makes a lot more of a difference, I'd say. Yep, because, that's basically uh, why we're using One of the Hydros version. is twice as close to your, to your spawn area, which is Kinda of fucked for one v one, um, but yeah, uh, Pepsi is gonna build three factories with this ACU uh, before moving. Nexus uh, only two by the looks of things. Land, yeah, but he's going for an early air while Pepsi is gonna go for two land factories only then for air. Yeah, so this will be uh, we will we'll get a good example of what the difference is. The scouts of Pepsi will of course see the raid from Nexus. Uh, I hope for Pepsi that he doesn't lose the scout for no reason, he shouldn't. Oh no, it seems... Okay, he moved it, but the Snoop is on the job. Dude, the Snoop is uh, accurate as fuck. It's a sniper machine. It's killed! And then oh! the sniper. Ah. Okay, that, sh that shouldn't have happened, really. But he knows about... Wait, Pepsi says you walked, he didn't finish the fact... What? What? Oh, because he, oh, he was mass stalling. He figured it's useless to stay there while mass stunning, so he might as well walk mid. Which is a good decision. Uh, I, I, I would do the same thing. I, I forgot about that. the screen again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yes, thank God that I know about the scene that I have just changed, but yeah. Thankfully, you can still see what is happening in the middle of the screen, so yeah. At, it's at least a cut out a bit better. Uh, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, I don't have to wonder. Uh, worry about this. The best thing is I have a second screen on my left side and I still keep on forgetting about it, but it seems like the expanding engine to the beach side is gonna get caught by the mech marine from Nexus. Yeah, Nexus does manage to kill the scouts of Pepsi, which, uh, all the, all the way around. Pepsi will manage to kill the scout of Nexus, which is actually really important, because now the lab is a in the dark. The expanding engineer will die, but there's a backup engineer building a factory. The issue is Pepsi is mass styling badly. And that's really bad. Yeah, he's not reclaiming as much as he should with the engineers. Not to mention, he broke some of the trees himself, so yeah, there is also that. And the engineers. Oh, engineer oh actually... nice factory block from Pepsi. Uh, yeah, but, but will it be enough or not as the mat is gonna come in? Oh, he oh, right clicked no. the Magmarine, that's really bad. If he moved in, he would have been able to kill it. Yeah, basically uh, you want to get as close get away, as you can actually. with the Mantis. Otherwise, you can run around missing. all the way around the map, and it's gonna be annoying for Pepsi to keep track of it. Um, so a bomber coming out from Nexus. Uh, generally, his early game was a bit better, mostly because of the mass stuff from Pepsi. Pepsi's overflowing a lot of e. He did it. Oh wait, he did the air of course. Like the the scaling from Pepsi is just. I mean, I mean, the master is just so bad. I mean, he's okay. He finally reached the first reclaim in mid, so now he's fine on mass. 
Uh, yeah, but Nexus is gonna be way faster to it, so yeah. It seems like... Yeah, but it's uh, like... That doesn't really matter. It's like, sure, like, it's like, once a guy getting a hundred, uh, like, uh, 1k extra reclaim from mid, it's kinda irrelevant for 1v1 compared to the grand picture. Um, the bomber from Nexus at the left side, it will get scouted and it's actually. Yep, locked, it's gonna so. get basically insta killed before dropping. No, never mind. No, still no, kill? no, it's not gonna get insta killed. There's this, uh, I hope Pepsi's gonna touch this engineer. You know, the bomber seems locked on it. Yeah, it was locked. Nope. Oh, and that is gonna be painful. I really. Uh, actually, both of them did it. I'm, I'm not sure if this is normal now. Both, both Nexus and Pepsi built uh, factories in the direction of their expansions before actually walking there uh, for a safe backup, right? Yeah, it's kind of nice, to be honest. It will delay your expansion, but you can actually make sure that you will get the expansions. Yeah. By the way, Nexus is overflowing 60 mass per second while reclaiming. Holy shit, this man knows no Which bounds. Which is extremely terrible, because you don't have teammates to overflow it to you. You should just shoot at the enemy ACU if you're overflowing Not to mention, mass. it might actually kill the reclaim orders and stuff for your engineers. Uh, I don't think he has that issue, because he's stalling enough E for that to be no issue. But uh, E... E-wise, it seems that it's uh, uh, it's actually very even, okay. Oh, I also like the T1 Arty from Pepsi to go on Haras the AC belonging to Nexus, though it seems like Nexus have a little bit more units there. Yeah, but the, the Arties are mostly Medusas, so they're not as good as can be. Pepsi will have to shoot with his ACU a bit. I don't, this is a bit too early for Nexus. He's gonna throw away a few units. Pepsi, uh, the issue is, uh, actually, is he making tech to Maxis? If he is, it's a mistake because he's stalling E. No, he's not. Pepsi is going for a lot of unit spam. He is doing yeah, so many Yeah, but Pepsi is also stalling really hard on energy, like 300, 400 per second, so yeah, it's not really good. Yeah. But Nexus AC is also taking some damage from the Which is surprising because he has the same energy income as Nexus, by the way. Oh, yeah, that is actually true. Both are on 600. No, Nexus is on 750, so quite a lot more. Oh, he just jumped a lot. Okay. I uh, He probably just... Yeah, he f just finished the Hydro on the beach. That's why. Uh, so Nexus is gonna try to... Pepsi should run into the water. He should keep fighting. Especially with the amount of units he's making. So the expansion to the back, it's... It seems Nexus has a slight lead, but not by that much. They, they're they kinda not really raiding each other too much. There's yeah, not many drops, armors, no proxies. It's... it's for seventh game, it's quite passive. Uh, the yep. early game, aside from the early lab and the bomber, from Pepsi and the bomber from Nexus. I mean, I think it just shows that Pepsi is actually now paying respect to Nexus, not trying to go and be over aggressive, focusing a little bit more on the slower macro gameplay. Well, not being aggressive on sentence isn't about respect. It's uh, like, it, it's just like a macro part, and uh, like you can try to sneak a, sneak a drop like that in, and if it gets scouted, you just. As long as you can still do an efficient drop, that's not an overcommitment. Yeah, and you can always just reclaim the drop after all, if you drop some engines with it. And you aren't gonna go and lose that much. Uh, yeah, what I'm like... really surprised about is that there's no backup factory in mid, actually. From neither Pepsi stunning 500 e per second! Oh no. He's going tech to air! But actually, he no, actually, e. he's fine now. He's fine. Because he's stalling now so much mass. Uh huh. I'm not sure if that's something he should be happy about. He is gonna win, kind of win mid for now though, but this this mass stall and E stall is really uh, causing an issue for his uh, unit spam. Nexus is actually floating quite a bit, but that's a lot better than stalling as badly as Pepsi is. Nexus is also pre-maxed up. But Pepsi yeah, but Nexus have. is actually about to start the T2 max, I mean T2 pigeon on his own. He's actually quite ahead of Pepsi when it comes to the airplane. Probably. He got sick to air uh, ahead of Pepsi. Only a bit, but still enough. Uh, Pepsi did secure the mid reclaim now, though. And Pepsi finally finished his eco because he finished the tech to HQ. He will stall E again while rushing his uh, tech to pigeon, though. But... Yep, unlike Nexus, who is actually just making a really nice strides while making the pigeon. Perfectly balanced uh... and everything. Though I don't think he should be making the T2 transport while making the pigeon. Yeah, a big difference is that uh, 
Nexus is 10k Eri claimer heads of Pepsi, and he's also like 2k massive claimer heads. He also have way also more. the massive comp just yeah. terrible, but that's because Pepsi. No, he's not stalling. But the third is a lot better than Nexus. Uh, like he's got five tech to Nexus. Pepsi doesn't have any. Uh, Pepsi just fucked up his third somehow, and I'm not quite sure what happened. Uh, well, like from the get go, he was stalling like 10 mass per second when he wasn't 10 mass income. Like he screwed up his initial start by a lot. Yeah, and he was also way slower to expand because of the single rate and just making the factories. While Nexus would just go straight for the max position. No, no, no. Nexus also made factories in between. I, d I oh. don't think that single lap did, uh, was that impactful. Like it was annoying, but um, I don't think it was that critical. Like I, I think the, the ego disbalance of, of Pepsi was way more crucial. Oh, Pepsi queued with 12 Corsairs, man. <laughs> oh, he's going in for the snipe. Okay, he boss. doesn't care. But it seems like the T2 transport is actually going to be used to. Pick up some units and drop them somewhere else. We will okay, see that's where. quite greedy from Nexus. Well, he doesn't know how far ahead he is, of course. And Nexus is now east stalling. Uh, but, like, what Nexus needs at this point, like, it's still Saturn, so you just built two tech to PDs and a shield, and you stop the push. Yeah, that and, is true. Uh, and it's especially on something like Saturn, where, like, in a 1v1, losing the front few Maxes is irrelevant because you got all the other Maxes in the back. Oh no, not the bombers, not like more. Not the no one cares bombers. Oh, come on. They could have dropped some bombs, but yeah, it seems like the transport drop is actually gonna be just fine as Pepsi is not gonna react on time. And as such, the 12 tanks from Nexus are gonna drop down on the rock position. Nexus needs to realize what's, what's gonna happen. I mean, he needs to defend against his push properly. It's still his main base. I mean, like... he's actually making Janus, which would be quite a good here. That's true. Oh, the first Janus? Let's see. Oh! Quite decent, I say. That's... Uh, that could like be better, way better. Damage. No, that was very good. Uh, he's gonna rush some PDs. I'm not sure what uh, Pepsi's OCing Maxis with his ACU. That's a free bad level. Yeah, uh, I think this is basically an all-in coming out from Pepsi. He knows that he cannot defend their positions on the left and right side where the drops are gonna happen. So he's just gonna go for the snipe. Of course, Sarahs are dealing with the drops, certainly enough. Uh, the thing is, he doesn't 100% need this needs to be an all-in. I, I mean, the Janus are defending quite nicely, but he's doing damage. He's gonna kill one of the tech to pigeons. He kills a few tech to Maxis. Oh, that is true. The Janus are gonna friendly fire. Oh, that is not nice. Dude, if he needs to Corsair the second pigeon of Nexus, he has Corsairs. Yeah, he's actually doing it, from what I can see. No, the, the Corsair didn't shoot at the, at the pigeon. I'm pretty sure. No, it, it did. did. It did. Oh, the second one will. Uh, will it would be enough? It's Corsair. Yes, it, yes it will be. And as such, so... Nexus is actually gonna be just fine. Or maybe not. Yeah. No, never no, mind. No, he's, never he's mind. Now. He's actually he's trying to build Aeanos without any kind of energy. So, which is very bad. It's, it wasn't actually all in. Well, I mean, it's, it was kind of all in. It's a big mass nation, but he won yeah, a lot of time to, with this. Yeah, exactly. He's gonna kill the few Janus that are out now with his MTs. Even though he doesn't have air. To be honest, he still has four Corsairs. To... He just needs to go back in to kill the Tech Pigeons under construction and try to lock Nexus out of E. Yep. Also, what I would like to see is to actually go and grab maybe T2 upgrade on his ACU to make some kind of foothold here so Nexus cannot actually get back into the game here. Corsairs versus Janus D air fight. <laughs> Colors. Something that They're I actually think never killing would it. See. The Corsairs are killing the Janus, man. But now there's Inties, and, and Corsairs are so bad against Inties, it's yes, insane. Yeah, that is true. I tried to do it once, and it was horrible. They, like, the higher HP the enemy target is, the better Corsairs are, because of how, sh how weird their missiles behave, but... He also made so many tech on bombers. Like, he needs to snipe this, this new tech to be here from Nexus. Nexus made a static Yeah, but I don't think he can, because there's there. not only way too many Inties, but he's also have to go and watch out for his ACU to not die to the middle spot here. True, because Nexus there is. is like, 10 pillars now, well Pepsi... Pepsi just stopped production by a lot. He's going for a lot of navy now though. Well, I guess Nexus is too. And the bombers from Pepsi are just going for the frigates, but he can't split them all around the map. The issue is Nexus right now is on 12 tech to Nexus. Well, Pepsi... Is on zero... Uh, sorry, is on one. Yeah, he's one. like 35 mass behind, so it's not good. 
But to be honest, Even he actually the... manages to win the Navy. Maybe he can actually hurt us with the cruisers or something. Like, I think Pepsi not being aggressive at this SU is a huge blunder because he is in such a bad position because of his lack of eco. Like, this is the situation where you need to realize I'm in a bad position. I need to risk my ACU's life. If you don't just hide in the water, then, then you will lose. Or the chance of losing is so much higher. Yeah, not using his AC was a mistake because he also now lost all of the units. And if he were to actually throw one or two overcharges, he could go and maybe kill all of the pileups here. But and now Nexus is, uh... I mean, he built, he has on three tactic pigeons now. At the back, uh, uh, at his three max expansion from air, he has two pigeons. He's yeah, and the courses are actually again. being used to go and kill the frigates by Pepsi, so not really agree with it. I mean, if it's even game, then some free value is always nice, but it's not an even game. That's the issue. And now Nexus is getting all the mass nation in front of his main base. Yep. Not to mention, he's also still pulling off the drops on the sides of the map. We can see another yeah. transport going. Drops are always strong on settings. But yeah, I really like the Shift G from Pepsi here. Going for random Maxis and stuff with the T1 bombers, as Nexus is not <laughs> responding at all. So it is, is it here. is annoying, and I do like it. I think he should just do the thing, but with his stuff split a lot better. Nexus is suiciding his Janus, though, yep. uh, which is not good. Yeah, I think it was just a random move order or something happening. The thing he is, for to. these kind of armor moves to actually be good, moving in this many at once is actually inefficient because. It's like he has 720 mass of bombers. Sure, you're gonna kill a few maxes, but you can instantly rebuild those. Uh, like if you if you do it slow style, just send like one and one bombers everywhere on the map, right? Hey, my foot is there, so I'm beard back for a bit. Okay then. Well, you just left as the air party is happening, and it seems like Nexus is actually might lose it. He might have more interceptors, but the micro by him is actually horrible, as he wasn't paying attention at all. And as such, Pepsi is gonna get the first move, but it seems like his Corsairs are going to go and snap the T2 Pigeons that Nexus was building behind the base. And this might actually cost him quite a lot. As we can see, he's barely hanging on with the energy here. Yep, another one goes down, and it should mean that there's gonna be an easel happening quite soon. But Pepsi, unfortunately, is not moving his Interceptor to go and support the Corsairs. Meaning he's gonna go and lose a few more of them. But still, the damage have been done. Four T2 Pigeons have been killed off, so I think this was actually quite nice knife. Especially, as there is a lot more damage done to the mechs all around the map, as we can see the trees burning and stuff here, as the T2 mechs are being picked off one after another by random T1 bombers. As Nexus is actually gonna go and move his air force to the middle of the map, where he might go and try to support his push on the land, where we can see Nexus going in with a lot of pilars in the middle, which have to go and face off against a bunch of T1 Medusas, which are not gonna prove to be much of a problem. Oh As boy, the G is actually happening from Mr. Nexus, going to go and try to kill Mr. Beast, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Does he have overcharge? Yes, he has. He has overcharge, meaning that the AC is gonna be safe. And yes, you didn't miss much apart from. Nexus losing another 5 T2 Pigeons. Yeah, I saw! Oh my god, oh, he's already restored though, but these Tech 1 Bombers in the back! Yes, they're killing just random T2 to Nexus just all around. They have one game mass killed each! What can I say? The man is a menace. So Pepsi actually wins both navies as well, which is yep. not critical because it's Tech 1 Navy, but it is gonna be annoying for Nexus. Because yeah. it lessens his map uh, vision by a lot. Yeah, and especially with the Salem's buff, you can actually really be a threat here. I don't think Pepsi has enough mass to do that, especially with the mass tech to air investment from Nexus. Uh, that might be true, but he actually have more mass than Nexus right now, after all of the raiding he have done with the Corsairs. Uh, no, Nexus is uh, restored his pigeons. Oh no, never mind, Nexus was just stalling energy and stuff. He's now back on 5 pigeons. Yep, and 150 mass per second, so yeah. Quite ahead of his opponent. 
uh, 14 tech to Maxis from Nexus, so Pepsi is on 4. Yep, and we can see that. Funnily enough, uh, out of all the, all the 4 tech to Maxis he has, one of them he accidentally upgraded to tech 3 and passed it. Hmm, which one? It's I see well, it. 4%. Oh, only 4%? Who cares? Then? Yeah, I thought it was like halfway down or something. To somehow fuck that up. But yeah, with the air loss from Pepsi, you can actually see Nexus capitalizing on it with a bunch of third bombers to reclaim the sea on the south side. Yeah, Pepsi can only fight air if Nexus is hovering over his frigates at the top, for example. The Simon AA is not to be laughed at. I'm curious if Nexus is gonna transition to Tech 3 air. Uh, no, he's so actually going for the T3 t land to go and actually match Pepsi getting ah, to the land. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of mass in mid now. It's to, to, to yeah, you might really want to grab it, Big but it air seems fight, like... But this is not good from Pepsi. No, he has way less, and he just threw sides it in to kill a few drop bombers. And he's gonna lose all of them. Unfortunate. He's going to go tech to Navy. He just queued it up. I mean, I do agree with this choice. You can grab some cruisers and stuff to protect yourself. Especially yeah. as a single cruiser parked somewhere near the uh, middle can actually go and protect your land forces too. Yeah, it's quite nice. There's now some more drops, some Pepsi, some RT drops happening. Oh, the yep. thing is, uh, over time, Nexus is forced to build random AAs everywhere, and eventually this will just deny any drop. Nexus has eight static flags. Uh, oh well, a man have to protect himself somehow. And Nexus they're basically his own all in the middle. Drops. Oh yeah, I see them. Two of them coming in. So Nexus is shifted to very defensive. Although base, actually, the transports have been seen. Actually, caught up in eco by a lot. He just finished like ten tech to Nexus at once. Yeah, but look at the drops. They are actually being intercepted because Nexus is not paying attention. Or oh, never mind. He just realized. Nope. But. Uh, the, the Thor Bombers are kind of being... Okay, the only issue for Pepsi is, like, Nexus doesn't have that much air. Like, he has 20 inties. At minute 20 into the game, this isn't a lot. He, if Pepsi can get 20 inties in, like, a minute of production. But look at the amount of damage these Thor Bombers are doing. And he's, he can do a counter drop with some Loyas or, or some bricks or whatever. He, you know, he made Loyas. He can do a counter drop to defend against this aggressive drop from Nexus. Well, we'll And he's gonna he do that by the looks of things. Actually, he's doing it. He's actually moving the lawyers, but a little bit around. So a small mistake to move the transfer all the way back. Well, he's doing it for safety because... Of oh yeah, you don't want to get caught by the Aintys. That is true. Uh, Nexus is still ahead. There's a, another aggressive lawyer drop on the Nexus side of the map. Uh, he's not paying attention to that at the moment, but if he does... Ah, uh, there's some stingers uh, out from Nexus to deal with it, so... It shouldn't do too much. But the defensive Loyas will clean up this army, but the army has killed three tech connections. Yeah, and the damage have already been done, and it seems like the Loyas from Pepsi are actually not gonna do that much. They will kill only two T2 Maxis and nothing more, it seems. So I guess we can say that Nexus was the winner here on the drop game. Uh, yeah, although a few Medusas from Pepsi do manage to take by some kills as well. And there's another what a mess of a game this, this is, man, holy shit. Percival and two snoops. There's, a, there's another transfer drop of Pepsi in the middle of Nexus's base and it's just flying through. Un <laughs> yeah, he just flew through it. All of the stingers oh. are there to intercept him, but there's another drop Dude, the stinger in. speed buff. Easy peasy. Holy shit. Maybe the balance team was actually onto something with the Can they kill changes. the transport before it lands? Uh, I don't think so. No, it will land. Oh no, they are on the anti priority. They are gonna yeah. kill nothing but anti. Unfortunately, I think they wouldn't have been able to kill anything anyway. There's another drop coming, but there's a defensive Percy. Where the, where and the also next drop is happening. Some flak in here, so yeah. The Percy is no, gonna the, go the and turn around and slap the lawyers. Against uh, Tech 1 drops, but against Tech 3 it's kinda irrelevant. Yeah, Percy it, can just go and two shoot the lawyers. These drops have been very inefficient, though, for Pepsi. The Tech 3 drops, that is. Uh, 
I, I, the thing is, at this point, both have kind of enough enough stuff to do properly defend against the drops. Pepsi as well, because he defend like the drop from Nexus also didn't do that much. Like three tech to Nexus because the Nexus were that far at the front, but aside from that, wasn't that critical. Nexus transition to T3 air though, that's a big uh, a big thing that just happens. And Pepsi is on a grand total of two tech to pigeons. Someone have the Sisyphus music of getting the rock up the hill. <laughs> because there is a Snoop trying to kill it to Max. I saw. He's, He's so sad. <laughs> the region is way too much. But yeah, there's seems... a triple drop from Pepsi, but there's ASF. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter because the one on the right is actually gonna go and drop. As you can see, there is three more happening. Oh yeah, on the true. Rock side. There's a, there's, a, there's uh, six different drops happening at once. The issue is there's no flag dropped with this. There's stingers. Oh yeah, like, Black would just murder I, them. I really like the aggressive drops, but there's just not enough flag to, to defend them against the air. Did this drop will do decent damage, I think. Uh, at least two maxes are already dead. And he's gonna split them up nicely. Yeah, so the problem is that the more than half of those maxes were basically T1 maxes, so yeah. Well, it's true, yeah. It's not quite worth the six loyalists. This one PD is gonna... The night is worth quite a bit. Yeah, it's still not quite worth it. Even even if they have the well, it's another drop just flies straight past Nexus. Nexus made the strat though, and that is insanely important because look at it. Okay, it will be fine. Like but all three pigeons for Pepsi can be killed by a single strat is unshielded. Oh yeah, that is true. Although there is but, some cruise. But he here should be able to finish his uh, tech tree pigeon before the strat arrives. So... Oh, never mind. It seems like the cruiser have called the. Uh, oh. Oh, the value of Cybran Cruiser, the DPS. That's okay. so. It will barely live, but that's so good for Pepsi. Now, some free gets damage, and the strat only have 400 HP left. Which is kind of unfortunate, but the question is where is he even flying to? Dude, the strat is killing these scouts. No, no second cruiser second finished! Second cruiser just finished on time. Oh, I'm gonna teach you Max and the airbase of Nexus! 300 HP! It's almost done! 95% oh, T3 Max! Oh my goodness, no. rest in peace. That's so painful! But yeah, this is one hell of a mess of a game, to be honest. It is a good game. Yes, I it had is. After the start, after the additional fuck-up eco-wise from Pepsi, I thought oh, the no, game was Oh no, the another drops with Loyas, I mean, not Loyas, but Statins, they're gonna go and get killed by the random interceptors. <laughs> it's basically everything is happening all over the place. Like, he's just perma-spamming drops, Nexus has made an Omni at this point to try and deal with it, but he's still not able to react properly to it. <laughs> and there is another Mantis drop happening on the top side. <laughs> like, just a fucking Mantis drop, man, but it's annoying to deal with it. Sure it is. Okay, this cruiser from uh, Pepsi is going right next to the main base from Nexus, and I think that's uh, a bit too far forward. It will it, it will even get melted by the Stingers at this point. You should just keep it a bit more safe. I mean, will it be actually army. kites back, because Stingers are gonna just drop like flies, one after um, another. I think it's too many Stingers. I think he should also deal with the mid-armies to secure the mid reclaim fields. Oh wait, that's 20 Stingers, that's quite a lot. By the way, there's a Continental for Nexus. He's gonna take some revenge. <laughs> He won't with, stand for uh, it, for being dropped like that. Yes. And the problem is that Pepsi actually doesn't have enough air to contest it. We can see that Nexus have doubled the air amount. Which is yeah, he about I to mean... lose. Oh, yeah. did Nexus... Yeah, it's because he's, he didn't enable stealth on the ASF, man. That's huge. Well, does he have... He is overflowing 4KE, because he's finished the second peak. He needs to enable stealth. He's cybered. Oh, this, no, this never mind, he doesn't see them, he doesn't see them, he just sees on the attack move with the ASF. That's really bad. No, yeah. like... And the Continental drop is actually gonna go and drop down. If he had enabled stealth, he might have actually been able to kill the Continental. What does Nexus do? He's gonna drop the the air, wow. I don't think this is... He's I dropping the he main drop base. Back. And there's a sun is... here, so it might actually shut them down. As the ASF are actually gonna... Oh, that was very close. It's gonna land, but there's so, there's so many Arties and there's also four Loyas. 
I think these, this is a master nation, a big one. Like the Continental dies, but the Continental is almost as expensive as a Strat Bomber. And uh, this fight, the air fight over the Sam, this is, um, I think, very bad uh, prioritization from Nexus. He shouldn't have dropped Yeah, there. it was a horrible drop. It should have went somewhere else, like for the air assault or something there, to go and kill the unprotected Nexus. There's about to be a Simon Cruiser out from uh, Pepsi on the West uh, Ocean as well. For food period 8. <laughs> Look at the Nexus! Look at this Medusa drop! What? Wait, wait. What? 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 Oh my god, the Medusa drop behind. There is a T3 Meg that is about to get killed. No! Not like this. Not like this! No! That's insane. Nexus is gonna do a big front push. There's uh, 18 pillars, 14 titans, and a Percy. Yep, and uh, there's also Pepsi... a bunch of singers going to push the left side, so... And Pepsi only has 5 loyas. This, yeah, this, the singers might actually do a lot of damage. But this front push, it can threaten to win the game. I think he needs lines of tactic PDs to hold it. Yeah, that is Pepsi, true. That is. Pepsi is stunning so much mass, though. The thing is, now I think after these drops, I think ne Nexus got desperate enough to. Uh, I mean, to Nexus is fully aware of what is happening. Work. Although he's actually losing all of his ASF and by flying over the, the cruiser, cruiser and the flag. And the Sam! Oh, there is no more ASF, there's only four of them left. Meaning that the Stingers are actually most likely gonna get shot down in a few more seconds, but the push on the middle is happening, and as you said, there is not much to go and stop it. He needs. Massive lines of tech to PDs. Uh, right? Like he's building it, a third PG, and that's not what he needs. He just needs. Uh, like Nexus also is making broad threats, uh, so it's. Nexus is actually still ahead of Mass. Well, mostly because of these raiding uh, stingers. The, the, now a lot of them will die. But actually, he will kill a lot more tech to Max in the back of Pepsi's base. Yeah, this... Cyber Max is not a tanky, so you can just snipe them easily. Oh, there is okay, actually Broadsword being a... built. Sorry? Broadsword from Nexus coming out to go and yeah. finish the cruisers. Uh, I mean, Nexus has four. A oh, yeah, okay. He killed the early cruiser as well. This cruiser will die as well, but it might be able to kill one Broadsword at least. Yeah, it was actually going to trade for one because there's what? 500 DPS on the cruiser, so yeah, that's quite a lot. Yeah. Although I have to say that the jamming on the Broadsword actually bought some time there. But look at the look at the eco in the back of Pepsi's base. He's down to 100 mass income. These, yeah, there's these nothing stingers. There. Where's Very FTX hard. now? Huh? huh? <laughs> he's crying somewhere else. Considering he's not here to go and remind us in the chat why stinger is bad. But yeah, this stinger Dude, value is just flags, massive. Guys. Absolutely great. They Especially... all have like one and a half k mass, but yeah. Although Pepsi finally managed to go and reclaim the air superiority, but at what cost? As he have basically now no eco or anything. So I'm quite sad to see that Nexus is not gonna go and push the middle of his army. He have just so much more units here. I, I don't understand why Pepsi didn't park some of his cruisers there to deal with the mid army. Also, I think he over invests on the cruiser spam, although... It I mean, if the cruisers can actually go and leave for a while, they can deal some damage to the rock position True. in the middle. But uh, you still need like one Salem, I think. The Stinger is still alive. The finally, the final one finally dies. Pepsi is now rebuilding all his Maxes at once. He's at least getting a lot of reclaim from it. But uh, he ne he's still stunning so much mass. He needs to, he needs something to do with his front army. He should be happy that Nexus didn't decide to push because he still has five lawyers against this army. Yeah, there is nothing to... Oh my god, look on the other side of the causeway. Do you see what I see? Oh, the Titan reinforcement? Yes, the Titan oh, reinforcement. No. It is big and bulky. So and yeah, unless right Pepsi can actually... He's spamming walls, but... He still needs PDs, or, or at least T3 Or the cruisers, artists. just move the cruisers back to actually go and defend the causeway. Yeah. The thing is, he has, he has intel on it. He knows it's coming. Oh no, the replays are gonna like, go and finish some of the cruisers on the left side. <laughs> like, he has four cruisers at the bottom point, uh, bottom ponds. He's not doing anything with them. Oh yeah, one of them is coming back, but that's too late and too little, to be honest. And now Nexus is on 250 income. He does still have three Tech 2 Maxes. He has a lot of Tech 2s left. Pepsi... 
It will no tech to ma uh, tech three maxes, and his tech two max count is down to just eight. So Sting has did so much. I think this m might almost be the end. Yeah, there is not much to go and stop this army, but Nexus is actually quite scared to go and make a push. It seems. Well, I understand because he knows how ahead he is, so he's like, "Do I commit?" With him? this can be a mass donation. Yeah, exactly. Even more so as he's reclaiming the top font with his cruisers and stuff. Oh, he's gonna go and lose a few broadsword to ASF as he wasn't paying Ooh, attention. Oh, that's painful. Yeah, but the I big problem is that there is also a bunch of flak with the titles hidden in the middle, so we cannot actually use T1 bombers or anything to go and shoot them. He left an opening in the walls as well. Like, I think that this, this push is game over, then. Nexus realized, wait, you don't have anything here? Yeah. Perhaps because it was, was dropped all enough. the time. It's time to go and finish it off. Finally, I love Nexus is e stalling while he's doing this title push. <laughs> he just passed all the air. All the air systems. Understandable. Oh, it seems like Pepsi is trying to make Renegades, but this is not going to work out. There's also a yeah, T2PD, lines of them being built, but there is not enough mass for them. Yeah, oh those my god, did you see there, the yeah. energy storage? That killed one side. No, it killed the full HP brick. No. No, no, the brick died before that. Oh, maybe. I think. But uh, it seems there is nothing to go and stop it. Yeah, this is... A sad way to, to, to end it, but... Uh, oh, I agree. It was a good game. Oh, definitely. That's for there sure. was a lot of happening and there was back uh, and forth. Yeah. I think if if Pepsi just had a single cruiser or Salem just denying this mid push. Even if he's down on uh, Eco, if he has Navy control on both navies, he can just fight so much more efficiently than Nexus. Because these cruisers next to Nexus, right? 5k man skills. 3k masculine, doing so much damage with them, but without them being made, hard to win. Yep, that is true. Also, one thing he probably forgot is that at this point, I mean, cyber cruisers are generally considered the worst, but now with, with the torp defense change, if you have like two cyber, instead of three cyber cruisers, it's probably better to have two cyber cruisers and a Salem. Because the I mean, not even a Salem, Salem like just get the mermaid, the intelligent bolt. Which is amazing no, versus Torps. No, you want to stay them because it also has a lot Oh yeah, it does have the range, range stuff. And, oh no, Pepsi just lost all of his air by fighting over yeah, I mean, some and he's, stuff. Yeah. He's given up at this point. He's on 36 mass again. I don't think he will uh, get a lot done at this point. Yeah, especially as Nexus made a really nice split move with the Titans and everything. He's basically spilling them all over the map. I mean, Pepsi is just, uh, he's in the transport. Yeah. Uh, and he's gonna fly over to Nexus, I guess. Draw! No. Please? Nexus is a shield, he's just standing in the pond. <laughs> oh, look at the torps and everything. He is a safe man. He's bad, man. Pepsi put up a great fight, though. This yeah, was, uh, it was a very good game. Yeah. Like, all the drops and everything draining APM from Nexus, like... And even though the first drops, they didn't really accomplish much, they were just relentless and eventually oh, they no, just no, broke Oh, no, not through. the ASF, please, no. Not like this. Okay, he managed to drop. <laughs> the thing is, if this was a team game, you would hold fire. Because Nexus might think he is lazy or something. Yes. But you're not gonna risk it at this point if you're Nexus. Yeah, especially in it's, this it's... tournament. Yeah, your life is on the line, it's 2-2. Two -two. The one who loses this game is out. But yeah, there is basically nothing left from the economy or any build power left for Pepsi. He only has 14 mass per second income, so yeah. Yep. Here comes the death. The torpedo bombers have found him. Rowan saying that he didn't expect Nexus to win. I mean, halfway through this game, with the, with the drops, it yeah, looks really it looked good for Pepsi. Dicey. It's just that those 15 stingers did uh, the same damage as those drops, and Pepsi was behind on Nico always, so the damage was more brutal for him. Yep. 
Not to mention Pepsi just not reacting to the middle push or anything. Especially yeah, with that's... the cruisers, like it was such a big mistake. Like they both invested a lot of mass, one in navy, one in lands, but the navy can counter the lands if you put it in the causeway. So But he didn't do that. Which was really sad, to be honest. Yes. Like that push would have never happened if at least one or two cruisers were standing there all the time. Yeah, just free damage for five minutes. The 